After settling on this site in November of 1876, Henry H. Failing obtained a homestead patent for the property in 1882 at the age of 49. Failing, his wife and family made improvements including a three-room log and frame house, a stable, well, granary, corrals, and a milk house. They also cultivated 15 acres and raised grain, vegetables, and hay. In 1913, the property was deeded to the Douglas Investment Company, a Colorado corporation who built a fair-sized dairy operation on the site. The pictures in the calendar are from that Douglas Investment Company operation, the dairy, from the 1920s. We've researched the history of the Failing family and discovered that they're a good example of how to do family history research in the local history collection. There are many resources available in the local history collection to do family history research. I'm going to show you how to do your own family research. And in this case, we're going to start by looking at the internet. Go ahead and go to the next, go to the one little, the next page that had the refill on it. This is www.glorecords.blm.gov. The BLM website gives us the legal description of the land that the family homesteaded on. We're looking for the section, township, and range. We can use that information to go to the homestead books and look up signatures and the dates of when the family was in the county. We used the information that we found on the BLM website to find a more detailed description of the land transaction involving the failing family. This is the amount of land that they eventually got, which in this case, Joanna Failing was getting 159 acres and it was $1.25 for the taxes, and she paid a total of $199.58 for it on October 17, 1887. Here's another failing family member, Albert Failing, and he filed his in 1906. And this is actually a, uh, instead of a cash sale, this is an actual homestead patent. Now that we know more about where the family was living, we can find out information about them on the census, including exactly how many kids they had, what the kids' names were, how long the parents had been married. So what we see here is we have Henry, his wife Abigail, see he's the head of the family, his wife, their daughter Etta, a son Henry, this would be Henry Jr. Uh, Charles, Nellie, Albert, that looks like all that's born right now. He's a white, Henry himself is a white male. He was born in September of 1832. He's 67 years old, and this is the 1900 census. Um, he's married, and they've been married for 43 years at this point. Next, we're going over to the biography file to tell more about the family. It has newspaper clippings, obituaries, and any genealogy research that's already been done on the family. So here we find a newspaper article. Mrs. Burke Failing, who has been stopping with her mother at Perry Park the past month on account of avoiding the measles, is now at home. Now this is news of the county from the Castle Rock paper, uh, the 30th of May, 1913. Here's some obituaries that we have on the family and some genealogy research that somebody's already done with a uh, little more information. Well, let's take this and add it to our collection of information. Okay, now we're going to find the marriage records for Douglas County. This is 1864 to 1925. Let's see if there's any failings in here. Okay, Albert Edwin Failing married Josie Bell Dakin, August 5th, 1908, by Harvey Waite, pastor, Methodist Episcopal Church. License issued 5 August, 1908. Filed 5th of August, 1908. All right, so we're going to take these marriage records and add them to the file, and we're going to go off to our next destination. We're looking at the Douglas County Fair Books Index, and this will tell us if the family was involved in social activities in Douglas County. It'll also give us an indication if they owned a business, just in case they advertised in books.
Yep, AE failing. 1927 to 1929 and 1932. Let's see if he's involved anywhere else. Here we go. Failing in phallus, meats and groceries, 1918 to 1920, 1922, 25, and 27. We've got some good dates to go look for him in the fair books. Here we have the 1925 fair book. I'm looking through these for an advertisement by the uh, Failing family, since we know that they owned a grocery store. And here it is. We feed them the best the market affords in groceries and meats, and they like it. We can please you too. Failing and Phallus, Sedalia's leading grocers. Phone 81R4. Well, here's the 1927 fair book. And we look through here, and we see that A.E. Failing is on the board of directors for the fair that year. And then we find his advertising in here, which says, For 16 years we have been supplying the people of the Sedalia community with the best the market affords in the line of meats and groceries. So since it says they've been working for 16 years, we can, we, and this is the 1927 fair book, we can guess that they opened in 1911. So that's a good little bit of information to add to our pile. Here's the 8th grade graduation program from 1900 for the public schools of Douglas County. And we'll see we have Bert Failing. So that's Albert Failing, who was on the board of directors in the fair books. This is the son of Henry Failing. And he's listed as being from Kelly's, which was near Levere's. This book by Josephine Marr is a good resource to find facts of Douglas County history. Nestled at the feet of the heavily timbered bluffs of Plum Creek was the H.H. Failing Ranch with its apiary. We also discover that in 1921, the first church, the Community Presbyterian, was erected in Sedalia at the junction of East and West Plum Creeks through the untiring efforts of Alfred E. Failing with the land donated by Fred Krangle. This community Presbyterian church was destroyed in the devastating flood of 1965. The next place we would look would be the photo file. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures of the failing family, but we do have some early pictures of Sedalia, including this one of a mock trial at the Manhart store. The failings may be in this picture somewhere, but we need help from residents of the community to identify the people in the photo. I also discovered by looking in the biography file that Albert Failing, the son of Henry Failing, our original homesteader, was a county commissioner from 1925 to 1935. He died while he was in office and his term was completed by someone else. They were early homesteaders in the 1870s. They also owned a store in Sedalia from 1911 to 1926. They started a church in Sedalia called the Community Presbyterian Church, which was wiped out by the 1965 flood. So this turns out to be actually quite an important family in Douglas County's history. 